<laughs> hey you guys, welcome to the Reaper Podcast. I am your host, Reaper, or as I'm going to be called from now on, Phantom Reaper, my full name. And I'll get to uh, why in a minute. But of course, guys, I have a special announcement to make on the Reaper Podcast. And I will, um, of course, I'll, I'll say it right now in the beginning. And then, of course, I'm going to tell it to the guys in the podcast as like a surprise. So basically, when everybody's listening to this, everybody that's on the podcast will know. <laughs> um, I do, I do like to try to get more people on the podcast more interviews and stuff i am helping out kyle hester uh if you guys know from the last podcast i interviewed he is working on a solo project with his wife uh the preacher six which is like a quentin tarantino film inspired a lot of action and to me ever the way he described it and the way it's described in the movie it reminds me of double may cry um, if you guys don't know what Devil May Cry is, Devil May Cry is a Capcom game, which has a, the hero of the game is a demon slash human that slays demons, and that's his business. He's a mercenary killer. So he goes out, slays demons, stuff like that. Um, that's, that's pretty much it, and he does it with a sword, and of course the, the images that show up of the the main protagonist has a sword so and he's talking about you know well placed bullets so i i i'm geared up because i like quentin tarantino style i like kill bill i like uh all the other i can't name the game <laughs> i can't name the, the um the movies <laughs> i choked myself and i can't name the movies off the top of my head at this moment but I, I like him. I mean, whenever I see him, I'm like, oh, that's a Quentin Tarantino film. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, a lot of blood, a lot of violence and action and stuff like that. You know, the storyline really doesn't, you know, with Quentin Tarantino, it doesn't, like, matter. <laughs> you know, with, with that, what it matters is that, you know, violence and blood and more violence. You know, that's all that really matters. But... Uh, it it has a deep meaning and it's pretty awesome. The graphics are pretty awesome as well. Because um, uh, if you've seen the teaser, as I pointed in the interview, and it's on his indie page, I think I do believe the teaser is up, so you guys can see what what it's teasing. You know what I mean? And it shows like the demons and stuff like that. Um, this podcast is actually sponsoring Kyle Hester and his project. Um, if it's if it's an Indiegogo campaign, if it's whatever to raise money, I will put it in the description below. His Twitter and his uh, the Preacher Six Twitter will be down below, so you guys can go check them out. Uh, please go to him and follow, and check him out and help it any way you can. If you can donate a dollar, donate a dollar, donate something. You know, a little bit amount that helps. Um, I, I think his Indiegogo campaign is going to be up soon. And he doesn't have nearly enough. Uh, but he, he'll still get the fund that's being donated. But um, whatever campaign. After that campaign goes out, it, I'll keep an eye on it to see if it's like going to be coming back up. If not, I'll invite Kyle Hester uh, back again to talk about what what they're going to do and stuff like that. And he'll be, I'll, I'll ask him if he could um, provide me the link for the stuff. So so whenever, you know, it goes up, you know, hey, fundraising or whatever, I'll put it down in the description below so you guys can donate or whatever, stuff like that. It would really help. I know I've said I would, I would donate. Uh, it's been like a long... <laughs> A long, long, long process of getting money up for uh, Christmas. As you guys know, that when I built the studio, it's just, it's taken all my money. And I'm, I'm building it back up for Christmas. I I mean, literally, okay? I have not touched it. There is games coming out that I want and want to play, but I can't. You don't understand. I mean, you guys are probably going, why is he playing all these stupid games? Why ain't he playing the new games? Well, that's why, you guys. Because I... <laughs> I have no funds to go to that. All my funds are going to go to the Christmas. I have a lot of Christmas uh, to buy. So, yeah. 
That's my dilemma. So, in other words, um, yeah, this podcast is sponsored sponsoring Kyle Hester and Preacher Six Project. So, guys, go check them out in the description below. I'm actually gonna try to invite Undead Chiha. Um, no, not from Naruto. I know what you're no, no, not from Naruto. But he's he's a YouTuber and stuff. He, he makes great content and has awesome subscribers. And um, as you know, that if you watch him, he has a whole bunch of anime posters. So yeah, I'm an anime buff. I want him on the show. I I wonder if he's a video game buff. So I want him on the show as well because that's that's my thing, man. I'm a video gamer. I'm an anime. Shit like that. So, yeah. Anyway. I think I just hit my mic. Sorry about that. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get him on. Um, this podcast is actually being uh, kind of recorded either earlier or later. Uh, this first part is actually recorded a day earlier. Because I... Yeah. Usually when I record a podcast or whatever, I don't work on that day. So I get like, you know, stuff up and all that. Get time, relax, chill. Tomorrow I don't have that. Because I usually have one day. Um, I don't work. I only work four days. So I get one day to record the podcast or do whatever I want on a Monday. Well, since the holidays are coming up and uh, I'm off certain days, sh- shit just ships. You know what I mean? It ships. So, yeah. Sucks, but yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, I cannot cannot stress this enough that this, this is important to do. I'm trying to keep consistent with you guys with this. So You guys probably don't want to hear me babble on anymore going, what's the, what's the announcement, man? What's the topics, man? Come on, man. Get on to the podcast where Zach and ABO and your gang's on, man, because that's more funny, right? Right? Okay, anyway. <laughs> the special announcement uh, is going to come up here, like, soon. Um, I do want to talk about the, the topics I have for this. Um, I'm actually coming up off my head. I haven't had time to prepare because I've been stoked. I've been busy. I've been just like all over the place. I'm actually getting behind on my scheduling. And what's that mean? I'm behind once more on the shit. So like when I say I am behind, like I hit a snag with Clock Tower. If you guys know, I've been recording Clock Tower. I did not realize it is not a straightforward fucking game. You have to do certain shit to get a certain fucking ending. And like the walkthroughs, because like I had to walk go through a walkthrough because I found one of the endings that was like a bad ending. And I was like, fuck, I don't want to end it there. So I'm going to just look through and find out, you know, the other endings or whatever. Fuck. <laughs> fuck me in the ass. Um, I might... I don't know. I might just like put up something. I don't know. It's, I don't want to sit there and end it. I want to continue, but I think I have to replay the whole game in a certain order and check to make sure it's that fucking order. If not, I have to fucking redo everything. And I don't like that. I hate that. I mean, with, with the other clock tower game, it's, it's like, you know, it's forgiving, you know, it's like, okay, you know, uh, you can still continue, like, this game, like, there's multiple fucking endings of certain shit, and to get the full fucking game done, you have to do it in certain fucking ways, and yada yada yada, and shit like that, it, it's really fucking shitty, <laughs> it's really shitty, I got the one ending that, that was retarded, but, but yeah, so anyway, I want to talk about how, um, I know I've talked about it a lot, especially with Ghost in the Shell and Assassin's Creed coming in the mix of uh, movies that are based off of anime or video games. But I do want to talk about how, in this genre, 
how you know stuff has been remade over and over again how the the hollywood is reaching into the video game and anime worlds um to get ideas or whatever and it it's not the, you know it's like oh you know they they're just now recently no it's been done before especially with mortal kombat mortal kombat was the successful movie well, the first one, anyway, was a sexual movie of the video game uh, that went to the big screen to be that. Because the reason why is because it had no storyline in the game. In the game, it was you fighting these other fighters in a mortal in a tournament, Mortal Kombat. You get done, and then you're like the winner. Oh, I won the Mortal Kombat, blah, 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 blah. And the statue's dedicated, and that was it. That was fucking it. There was no storyline, no dialogue. It was you pick a character, fight through the tournament, you win, boom. You go play another character and do the same thing. Once you play all the characters, woo -hoo. You know, there was a couple of Easter eggs in there, too, as well. Um, it was Reptile coming in there and certain stuff. So, there's that. So anyway, um, it's pretty much straightforward. Uh, I just want to talk about the um, video games to movies. We'll just, we'll just put it that way. That way I, I know what I'm talking about. So uh, I, Yes, I am writing this down because I don't know when everybody's going to be available, like I said, in this podcast, so it's kind of weird. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the next topic I do want to talk about is, of course, Metal Gear. <laughs> um, I know, and everybody else is making these tweets. I mean, come on, really? To be honest, you guys, it's it's. I mean, if you guys don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, follow Norman Reedus, follow uh, Heido, okay. Um, Follow them, and then you'll know what's going on. So, you know, Metal Gear. I just want to talk about what what stuff they've been doing. The, the other topic I do want to bring up is, um, is music. For once, yes, we're going to talk about music. And the reason why, we're going to talk about, um, which I know Nico or Zach is going to bring up. Um, anime or whatever, anime intros or music from anime or whatever, you know, which is some of it, you know, is okay, but a lot of it ain't or whatever. So, yeah, but music in general, I, I'm talking about people that sound great and have the great melodies that do not get, get hired and then they're just pushed to the side. Um, I do want to talk about that as well because I've encountered a clip of a a guy and you could tell he's he's drunk as shit because you know he's got the red nose going on or whatever. Um, he he does the snaps and he he's bumping his chest like the beat of a drum, and he does a sound too while he's rapping and it sounds. It's funny because it sounds kind of like, um, I don't know if you ever guys ever heard of Arabic uh, music, but Arabic music has this melody um, whenever they're singing or whenever, you know, the melodies are going, but it, it has that quality and it's unique because it's rap, it's Arab, it's kind of Arabic-ish melody, um, the way it is. I mean, you guys will know because I'll put it on there uh, if I don't get copyrighted, I don't know why, but... It's pretty cool, you know. It's like, dude, if if this guy's a drunk or whatever, doing that kind of shit, why is nobody hiring him? Like that one guy, he was homeless and you know, didn't have a job and said he would he would uh, do shit for money or whatever. What was it? Wash windows or impressions for money or something like that. And he got to be a fucking radio host, straight from the streets into the fucking radio. He's probably got a mansion by now because of his voice. His voice is fucking gold, man. You know, and it's it's amazing what these people that have nothing, has this talent that 
nobody is picking up. Nobody is like, I mean, people are like, oh, that's cool, whatever. And then it's like it never gets shared, it never gets spoken, it never gets put out. And they have good shit, you know. Um, to be honest, rap music is kind of a downfall. Um, some of it. Some of it is a downfall, some of it's not. But, yeah, I talk too much about music. <laughs> but the other other thing is video games. I'm, I do want to talk about video games. Whatever video games comes up, I want to talk about it. Because I have no new video games. I want to talk about video games. Video games hold me. <laughs> so, um, what what else? What else I want to talk about? I want to, I know nobody cares about Kingdom Hearts. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and talk about Kingdom Hearts real quick. Um, since nobody really gives a shit on my podcast. But Kingdom Hearts, if you guys don't know what Kingdom Hearts is, do your research, man. It is actually uh, the people that make Final Fantasy merge with Disney. And it's funny because I'm, I'm just going to throw you under the bus, Zach. And because you love Final Fantasy. Not love, but I mean you like Final Fantasy. You you fucking love it. And, and then you don't care about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird, don't you think, man? <laughs> so... So there's that. Kingdom Hearts is actually a cool game that's actually coming out. Uh, number three is coming out. And uh, Prologue. Uh, Prologue 2.8 is coming out. Uh, and then there'll be Kingdom Hearts 3 is next. And then they're coming out with a HD collection of two point or 1.5 and 2.5. Um so I can't wait to get those. I've actually, for a long time, I pre-ordered 2.8 and 3. So I think it's like 3 or 40 years I've, I've already pre-ordered them. Nah, it shouldn't be that long. Maybe 3. 3 or 2 when they first came out. Um, But yeah, I pre- I, yeah. Anyway, I, I bought them beforehand, so I'm getting updates and stuff like that constantly and when dates move or whatever. So, I cannot wait for those to come out and finally play Kingdom Hearts 3. I cannot wait. Because why? Because it pushes the story forward. Dude, I want to know what happened after fucking uh, all the other Kingdom Hearts games, you know. And I do want to play all the other Kingdom Hearts games because I, I don't have the systems to play them. <laughs> so... Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is pretty awesome. Um, I, in the studio, if you guys noticed that I've got the two Keyblades that I made. I'm actually making another one. And I do have stuff that I can make them out of 3D printing. I wish I could. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, a, lot, a lot of stuff is just pretty much uh, just going to be loosely talking or whatever. Um, so, yeah. This podcast is going to be great. <laughs> Real great. Anyway, um, as you guys know, this is sponsored by... Um, I know, it's sponsored by a, a group, and then, the, and then I'm sponsoring somebody else, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's actually going to be sponsored by somebody else as well. Or either sponsored by, or maybe I'm going to sponsor them. But the new... New thing that's going on is I am actually a voice actor for the Diamond Dogs Project. If you guys don't know what Diamond Dogs Project is, it's it's basically going to be in a comic book style, similar to Peace Walker. And it's going to be um, a reimagining of episode 51. So now we're going to have, um, they've already got the voice of Snake. I'm the voice of a soldier because I suck. And yeah. So yeah, I mean like I, I tried my imitations, my imitations suck. I, I hate imitating people. I like making my own voices and doing what what I do, but I don't like to imitate because sometimes I mean that shit like you have to fucking be on the ball or even close. Remotely close to it. So, yeah. Uh, 
But it's cool. They gave me a soldier part. I put a soldier part in there for me because I tried. And they said they liked the way I did the soldier one. So that's cool. So I'm on the website. Um, we are looking for two people. Uh, mainly two people. Kaz. Uh, no, three people. Kaz, Ocelot, and Eli. So we need a British rat. We need uh, Kaz, and we need Ocelot. So um, if you guys want to try out, uh, I'll put... The Diamond Dogs Project and the leader below. That way you guys can go and try out. Send your uh, audio clips, stuff like that. Um, tweet him and say, hey, I'm interested in the project. Uh, I want to send my voice clips, you know, for trying out. Uh, if I could, where do I? And he'll send you where to, where to, you know, do it. And then he'll get back with you, so... So hopefully that that's become good, and I want to work on the project because it is so awesome. I I want to be a voice actor. I mean, in the beginning, I wanted to work on video games and do video games, make video games, but yeah, that I'm not an engine. You know, I'm not like a computer genius with that shit. You know, so therefore, that's not gonna happen. Um, and I do I want to be a YouTuber. I want to I'll do video games and stuff like that. But I also want to be a voice actor. <clears throat> Even though I don't think I have a good voice for it. But I want to try at least. You know. My dreams are fucking infinite. <laughs> you know. And like I said, dreams do come true. Um, I've had the studio in my mind. I mean, some of the stuff I, I did not imagine, which was cool as shit. Um, but it was in my mind. And I made it a reality. Uh, a couple stuff I didn't make a reality. I mean, there was like one thing that I didn't get, uh, which it's fine because now it's it's like sort of there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like there, but stuff like this, it's it's awesome to dream about it and then to put it in reality. Dreams always happen. So I'm a voice actor for the project. Um, so go check that out. Um, yeah. It's an amazing thing. So, yeah, that's that's the one thing I, I want to talk about. Um, so, yeah. And there, there's a couple other things I want to talk about, but I'm going to keep it a surprise for the podcast for you guys. It's like, what? He can keep it a surprise? That's fucking unbelievable. But guess what? It's unbelievable. I know I'm going to miles a minute right now because the clock is counting down The Walking Dead. And I'm trying to do this and get this done as fast as I can. So, guys, we're going to go to a break. And we'll be back. You go. You're gonna see an ad or whatever. Blah 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 blah. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna come back, and then it's gonna be awesome. So guys, please stay tuned. Enjoy the show. And as always, relax, sit back, and enjoy the Reaper Podcast. We'll be right back, you guys. This Reaper Podcast is sponsored by Fanboy Frenzy. If you guys want to download the audible of this podcast, please go to Fanboy Frenzy and to listen on that format. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Phantom Reaper here, and I tell you what, since I'm the boys uh, actor for the soldier for the Diamond Dogs Project, guys, go below and check out the link below. If you guys want to try out, we are looking for Kaz, Kazahira Miller, Ocelot, and Eli, you know, he's got to be British or whatever. So if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, Please look up Kaz, Ocelot, and Eli for Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, and 
see if you guys can imitate their voices. We would love to get you guys on this project and get this project on on the ball. So, yeah. Uh, the link's down b below. It's Diamond Dogs Project. Um, you'll be voice acting for the project that's in Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker style comic book action. It's a retelling of the story of episode 51. So this podcast is actually supporting the Diamond Dogs Project until the Dom Diamond Dogs Project is finished. So guys, check that out. Uh, make sure you get the information of the guy. Send him. Uh, tell him you want to be a part of the project. And you're audi auditioning for the roles. And then he'll give you where to send the auditions to. So make sure you have a good mic. Uh, place of record. And everything will be great. So yeah. Go check that out. Hello guys, welcome back. <laughs> we have Zach and ABO here. I like how it just starts with Nico just going Putin. <laughs> Putin. Is it, I'm also. What, what was that? <laughs> I'm sorry. You said Putin. You said Putin. The first thing I thought was that scene from South Park. I want some motherfucking Putin right now. And then and was, I want some goddamn motherfucking Wu Tang. And then that's when uh, Butters goes, uh, "I like some goddamn Wu Tang myself." Jeez, butters. Dude, Butters oh, is yeah. shit. He's my man. Favorite. Butters. That was I think that was the episode in which he uh, Butters the episode. That was one of the best episodes of all South Park. No, the best episode is when Butters becomes a pimp. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you bitch. <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. Or the one where it's like uh, Butters with Gatorade. Oh yeah, or, or Butters with the multiple personalities or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah. Butters. I, I like I like the one where like the guys... Um, the guys are trying to prove is that they're the not... Is this the podcast? Is this how the podcast is going to be? This is how the podcast is going to start. Fuck you. South Park's awesome. <laughs> Hang on. We'll, we'll get to the topics when, when I'm done making my point. Um, but, uh, damn it. Okay, got it back. Um, we're like, um, the guy, every, every guy is trying to prove that they're not perverts to women. So they're like, yeah, I, I think sex is a disease. It's a disease, you know. So they're trying to show um, early signs of you being a sex addict. Oh yeah, the handkerchief. Yeah, and then Butters is like, "Why is it so hairy? Why? Why? <laughs> you know, he wants to talk about it. He's, Why is it so hairy? What's?" <laughs> and of course, Kenny is back there going, "Woo!" <laughs> you know. And then there's that one episode where, with, with Kenny that reminded me. There's that one episode with Kenny where he's like, "Kenny, I have something to tell you. Your girlfriend, she's a whore." <laughs> He starts running around like, yeah! I like when Kenny, uh, that one episode where Kenny, like, snips pee, cat pee. Yeah. Or something oh. like that. And he's, like, seeing boobs and stuff. Oh, it wasn't in the movie? No. No, I remember the boobs was in the movie, though. Yeah, this one where he's, like, he gets high off a of cat pee. But I'm only going to hell! You know who that is, don't you? Uh, it's Metallica, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was great. All right, let's go on to the topics that we're talking about. South Park. I love South Park. I could talk about it all day. Hell yeah! The topics. Um, the first topic is I want to talk about the um, everybody's thoughts on anime to um, movies and video games to movies. Um, Wait, what? So anime to video games to video games to movies? No, anime to movies and video games to movies. 
Like all, like. Is this what we talked about last week? Kinda. It's different. It's fucking different. Leave me alone. <laughs> but um, but it's just like I want like this podcast. We can talk about whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, if I want to talk about my ass and how hairy it is and and ball, yeah, we probably shouldn't high talk high about podcast. that because it's pretty hairy. God, how would you know? Oh Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> it's scared. The hell was that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh huh. Totally didn't turn my vibration on my phone. I did, and now my phone is vibrating my ass. Oh jeez, what's up with you and your ass? I don't know. It's just my ass. Kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but like with with all this like going on, the un. Uh, you know, everybody's like, let's do remakes, let's let's do sequels, and then they fucking suck like garbage, you know. Um, do you guys think that the Hollywood is turning towards video games and anime now? Wait, what? Oh, wait, Hollywood is turning towards anime, is that what you said? Anime. I'm sorry, I'm fucking out of it. <laughs> Get with it, Nico. Yeah, I mean, come on, I'm, man. I'm, I'm, when, I get, one when we're done with this... One job. When we're done with this podcast, I'm probably going to go to the store to get some fucking, uh, what is that shit? Uh, 11 Nike hour energy drinks. Nike, no, Weed. Nike will. Weed? Weed. Fuck yeah, man. We got some <laughs> fucking dank kush up in this, bitch. Oh. Uh, the end of it. Say it again? So, now, I, I, I was about to say something and then I, uh, never mind, I'm not going to say that. I can't say that because of confidentiality. But anyway, um, like, how now the Hollywood is going towards video games and anime with Ghost in the Shell and Assassin's Creed coming out. You know, do you think that Hollywood is, like, you know, saying fuck the sequels and fuck the remakes and going towards anime and video games now? Maybe. Yeah, uh, I don't know, though. Well, we could, uh, because I know that, yes, you said they're remaking, uh... Ghost in the Shell. Then they're gonna be remaking uh, uh, Death Note. This one thing. No, not Death. Yeah, Death Note. Um, which is actually be a Netflix series. It's not gonna be as. It's not gonna be Hollywood. Um, but they're also remaking. Uh, oh fuck! What is the name of that series? Hold on. Um, the one about the little girls a robot. Little girls a robot. Uh, I'm trying to think. Surprised, it's like Will Smith. It's like Will Smith as a little girl. I robot too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Let me look this up. Okay. <clears throat> but like, um, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like it's going towards that way because it's kind of weird. And, you know, you have fucking Assassin's Creed, you have Ghost in the Shell, and they're actually re or they're actually making a Full Metal Alchemist movie. Oh uh, yeah. I just saw that. Yeah, my dad. You had the trailer on in the background. I was like, "Holy shit, is that Full Metal Alchemist live action?" Yeah, and not to mention they have Teen or Attack on Titans. Yeah, well, the Attack on Titan movie was apparently it was fucking garbage. Yeah, and then and then there's Dragon Battle Ball Angel, Evolution. Battle the name was Battle Angel. Battle Angel. Yeah, it's an eighties anime. Uh, and a film. Uh, it's based on the manga. And, like, they're making a remake, live action remake of it in 2018. So, I know it's because of uh, IMDb. So weak. And I just live action. So, yeah. Who's going to okay, go see? A, who's going to go see? It's a 1993 um, film. Who's gonna go see Assassin's Creed? Uh, I haven't seen a film in the theater. I'd right. Oh shit! What the fuck? You all right? <laughs> I'm falling and I can't get up. Abio. I, I think my phone needs life alert. Okay. I was like, dude, did he hurt himself? What the fuck? No, I just had my phone on my lap and it vibrated and fucking fell off of my leg. <laughs> Decided to go ahead and commit phone aside, apparently. Um, 
But like, I don't know. I'm gonna go see it because it looks fucking. I'm a Assassin's Creed buff as well. I love it. So I I might I might go see it or I might go. Uh, what is it? I might just watch it when it comes out. He's like, you have to put some fucking effort into going to see a, th- a film around here. De- like, back when I lived in San Antonio, it was li- the theater was just literally just down the street. We got a theater here, but they don't put it, they put in like fucking Oscar films. Like those films that are trying to be edgy, like, oh, let's get an Oscar. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Dude, I want an actual theater here. Like, uh, um, like on stage theater. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Like, we used to have one, and then for some reason they decided to dock it up and then board it up. It's like, what the fuck? What the, f- what the fuck just happened to my phone? It died. It, it just No, fucking, it went from 9%, spooky. and then I turned it back on, and then it went up to 13%. Spookies! What the fuck? Memories. <laughs> but, um, it could be... It's got a ghost in the machine. Ghost in the shell. <laughs> but, it's coming um, out next year. Yeah, I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to see the skin tight suit on Scarlett Johansson's body. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's the only reason why. I'm... Yeah. I mean, do you have? I mean, like, well, I mean, as besides the cool soundtrack, the cool fucking, and uh, you know, shit. And technology shit, you're gonna see skin tight shit that you can just picture the fucking nakedness of Scarlett Johansson. It'd be like Sarah is like Zero Suit Samus, you know, like you don't play Samus for on Smash Brothers just because you know it's Samus. You pick it because you know Zero Suit Samus. Yeah. Well, yeah. Come on. And then, like, well, it's like with, when she went Black Widow, when she you first saw her, the long fucking curly red hair, the fucking cleavage, and it's like, oh, my God. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Did you, did you just nerdgasm? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, my, partially my weakness is redheads. I, yeah. I, you know, I like Asian. Asian good. I like black. Black good. But when it comes to redheads with big knockers, it's like whole... Redhead with, red, redheads with big knockers. Like, I, I don't care uh, who... Hold you... on, hold on, hold on. I got a question. What? Then how would you feel about a black Asian who also has red hair? I can actually picture that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to look that up later. Anyway. <laughs> Found myself a new fetish. <laughs> anyway, let's get back on topic before everybody thinks I'm a perv, which... Yeah, We're but anyway. Perfect. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... What, debatable what? The Bernal pervs here? I'm sorry, what now? I said... I said, we're all pervs here, and you said Debatable. Your point? <laughs> this is your point? <laughs> all I'm saying is that we're all fucking pervs here. There's no debate there. I can debate that some of us are worse than others. Man, silence. I fucking killed this podcast. <laughs> Great job. Anyway. I want to make an Eric Andre show of podcasts. That's a thing to look forward to in the in the future sometime. What's that? Uh, you know the Eric Andre show is where yeah. like it's it makes like a talk show, just the most unorthodox, fucking bizarre thing you'll ever watch. Uh, it's Adult Swim show. Like it's it's oh, hilarious. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, they get like celebrities in there, and they like it starts out where he's fucking flying around the room, smashing shit and destroying shit, and like picking people up and throwing them across the room. There's like one part of the opening, it's like one opening where he's naked and he's got a fucking uh, clarinet. 
like, Jesus. oh man. And then they j and then they get so many fucking actors to be in it. What the fuck was that? What was what? Did you hear that? AVO. Did you hear that? Stop that. Yeah. I'm gonna get fucking AIDS. <laughs> John. You're, oh Jesus, John. You, your 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 phone or something is right next to your mic. He's be here this beep 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 beep. Sorry. Yeah, that was that was my phone. <clears throat> anyway, hopefully they didn't get that cuz I didn't hear it, so Is that you, Emio? No, come on. Liar. Totally not you. Oh my god! Okay, that's that startled me. What? I don't know why. I got a notification. It's a Michael Johnson. It's a that got the kid started following you for some reason. I read it, Michael Jackson. <laughs> what Michael Jackson? Oh god! <laughs> Michael Jackson's on Instagram. <laughs> we know why he's following Nico. He's not set eighteen yet. <laughs> But come, to his never, yeah, come to his Neverland Ranch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We just went dark. Anyway. But, um... <clears throat> moving on from the, the video games and movies, because you guys are like... You already talked about that. I didn't say that. I defended you. Penis. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, so the thing that you don't have? The thing I do have, because it's in my hand. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. John, stop it. Yeah, that's... that's Creepy. <laughs> wash, your, wash your hands, man. Like, seriously. That's yeah, nasty. John. I wash my hands before and after. Not in between. <laughs> no. you, ever you ever tasted yourself before? Whoa. No. Next, please. Next topic. <laughs> I <laughs> dodge that some, shit. Apparently some fucking kinky shit. I don't get it. It's fucking disgusting. That's for People another podcast. I, I feel like we're going to have to censor that out. It's an entire part right there. <laughs> <laughs> Close your ears, kids. Close your ears. Oh, God, it's too late. <laughs> They're already corrupt. <laughs> oh God, it's going in their ears. <laughs> but um, but the next topic I want to talk about, and you guys know. Wow, no criticism. Is Metal Gear? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's just expected. It's not a brief podcast without Metal Gear. Fine, I'll make it like unpredictable. Ooh, it's gonna get spookies. So, as you guys know, I do theory videos on Kojima instead of Konami, right? There's legitimate fucking proof. Kojima is tweeting pictures with him having the promotional shit from Metal Gear Solid on him. The boots, the fucking watch, and it was something else. And he was going to an Apple store. And not to mention he's been listening to music from Metal Gear Solid and even showing it. Going, Did he get AIDS? No, he didn't get AIDS. <laughs> God. <laughs> but... Well, that'd be a twist, though. But... He went to the Apple store and he got AIDS. Damn it, Steve Jobs. Cause, well, that is true because Apple is kind of easy now. Well, Samsung is kind of getting that way, too. Everything's AIDS. AIDS, 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 AIDS. You all have AIDS. But um, Metal Gear, like... For some reason, Norman Reedus decides to tweet a picture. And it's a younger, younger version of himself. Guess who's standing right next to him? Who? Oh, my God. Uh, I, do I even want to look? Click no, it, click it, click don't, it. It's hilarious. Don't. It's not. Yes, it is. It's not. It's also topical. No, please don't. I'll, I'll look at it for the sake of... 
Oh God! <laughs> Read what it says. No, I don't want to. I've seen that before. <laughs> I've actually seen that one on Facebook before. But um, but like, the person sitting next to him is Keith or Sutherland, and if you guys don't know, that's who replaced David Hayter as a Snake in Metal Gear Solid Five. So it, it's just, it's kind of like poking, you know, that way, you know, at the tip of your dick, you know, going, hey, hey, look, look. But, yeah. And ABO has played Ground Zeroes, right? Yeah, I have. Did you like it or no? It was okay, but it was more like a demo when I played it, at least. That's what everybody says. You need to play the Phantom Pain. It is the shit. Phantom, uh, Tyler Perry's Phantom Pain. <laughs> oh, God, Tyler Perry's. Sweet Jesus. Medea. Have you guys even seen the new one? Have you guys seen the new Medea? No. I'm The only Medea film I saw was Witness Protection. Dude, there are so much better ones than Witness Protection. Don't watch the Chris... That one, was, that one just gave me fucking AIDS because of, like, it's literally just white stereotype, white stereotype, white stereotype, and the black guy shows up, the black family, and then it's like, oh, God, why? Well, don't watch the Christmas one. That is fucking racial stereotype, too. It's even got Larry the Cable Guy in it. Oh, God. Kill me. And it's like, at one point, like, the... What was it? The goat, like, uh, Larry the Cable Guy has this little sex game. He plays with his wife, and he puts a sheet over him, and he pretends he's a ghost. He's, he's going to get his wife, and they're going to fuck. Well, the, what? The, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, for some reason. In what? The, yeah. And then, like, the woman that's, like, afraid of the fucking KKK and all that. Oh, walks in me. and then thinks he's part of the KKK. So she runs in the room, starts fucking throwing shit. He gets the door. Oh my god, it's the KKK. And then, you know, Medea's like, what, what the fuck? You know, there ain't no KKK here. He goes, what the hell? So There's apparently one where she pulls out a chainsaw. I think that's the whole thing. That's, a, that's what I remember. I think that's the Halloween one. But, um, but yeah, there's that, and then, like, this woman didn't, like, her, her daughter is, like, <clears throat> married to the this white guy, and all that. So, like, you know, and the mom don't like white people. So they're trying to, like, hide it, and, like, the stories didn't fucking match up and shit. Like, uh, Larry the Cable Guys, that house was their old house, and they moved out, and shit like that. But they told the black family that she bought it at their house. You know, so the shit got mixed up, and then, and then Medea goes, tell, tell her, uh, what happened to your, to her dad. It's why you don't like white people. And they're like, well, why, why? Because he fucking went and fucked a white girl and left her with the white girl. That's the only fucking Jeez. reason why she don't like Metal white Gear people. Metal Gear Solid turned into Medea and Tyler Perry. I have a lot of beef with Tyler Perry because he's very race, racial. I don't like it. I fucking hate it. That's why I avoid his movies like the fucking play because they're just can't, they're just garbage. Yeah, I mean, it could, it does have the potential to be funny without the racist shit. That's all I'm saying. Bang. Yo. Hey, we go. Mm, yeah. What was that? What's up? Nothing. What was that? Fuck. Nothing. Totally didn't just fart. Oh shit! <laughs> God damn it! 
<laughs> Dude, that sounded like a fucking gun going off. <laughs> It was like, bang! You're like, what the fuck was that? I thought you, like, dropped a shoe on on the floor or something. I was like, wait a minute, he's got a carpet. Uh. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, back on Metal Gear. But I like Metal Gear as as a whole fucking thing. Why not Chrome Gear? Chrome Gear. Couldn't you have called it? Couldn't you have called it anything? Why did it have to be Metal Gear? Because it's metal and it's made by gears. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. But anyway, oh. precious Metal Gear. <laughs> metal Gear. It can't be. An alloy made from Planet Earth Gear. Gear Gear. Metal Gear. <laughs> gear Gear. Metal gear. gear. I would actually play that game if it was called Gear Gear. <laughs> what about Guilty Gear? Dude, I want to play that. Mm. You never play Guilty Gears? No. <gasps> oh my god, dude. I haven't like, either. Okay, you have to... It's fucking hard, okay? That's the thing. It's really fucking hard fire game, but I've got I've got Guilty Gear XXII or something like that on the PSP. PS uh, two. I want the new one. Let me let me see if I can find it here. But uh, continue talking. I'll find it. But I totally forgot. Oh, and I do have a beef. If you guys don't know who this YouTuber is, uh, Young Gear. Uh, no. Have you heard of him, maybe? No. <clears throat> well. This guy, he does like, he reports all news of Metal Gear Solid and Konami. Um, to be honest, I think he, he's like, he's got a brown nose, you know, for Konami. Or Kojima, you know, brown fucking noser, dude. Um, yeah. But like, he used to report on fucking everything, and it used to come out like in a couple hours when the news came out. You know, so basically in a couple of hours, you know, his video would pop up and you would know. You would be up to date. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, after Metal Gear Solid Five came out and all that good junk, you know, all the the supposedly Konami left, he starts fucking, um, like, it'll be like a week. Dude, the news would break out and it'll be like a week or two and then he'll come out with the news. Guess what? So and so just it's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and then he really pissed me off because you know what he went and done? His passion is video games, right? He made a young yeah gaming channel thing or whatever. Played a couple games and it was all Konami Kojima games. It was Metal Gear and then it was like um you know, the Phantom Pain and, and Zone of the Enders and shit, and he quits. And then everybody asked him about that, and he's like, well, I, you know, it's my passion to play video games, but I feel like it was kind of a chore because, you know, people were just wanting the next episode, and I just felt like it was a chore. And it's like, well, no, duh, you dipshit. What the fuck do you think it was going to be? You know, you just play video games and fucking put it... Yeah, it's going to be a chore. People want to see the next fucking video. You know? I, I just have beef with that guy. He needs to light a fire up in his ass and be better. Get good. Sorry, uh, that was my little rant. Zach, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. <laughs> Went silent here for a second. I was like, what the fuck? But um, let's move on before I get into more rants about, you know, young Yi and being a fucking asshole and make better content, you asshole. Yeah. Anyway, let's go <clears throat> on to music. Ooh. Okay. See? This is a new topic. See, we're changing it up, see? Um, music in, I mean, everything, like in anime, video games, or whatnot, um, 
what was the like you guys watch an anime you hear fucking like even the movies they have music in it what was your number one like you heard and it's like fuck that's awesome i gotta fucking have it Oh, for uh, what? Anime, movies, all that? Yeah, just like, you know, movies, anime, and uh, I video say games. movies, movies, my, my, uh, the theme song to, uh, Fight Club. Mm. Where's My Mind by the Pixies. That's a good one. Like, that shit is awesome. <clears throat> what about you, Avia? Um, I actually have to look for it, but you guys go ahead and keep talking about that while I look for it. Mine, um, mine was oh, on the movies. Mine was uh, Disturbs Down with the Sickness. The first time I ever heard that was Queen of the Damned. <coughs> and like, oh yeah, of course I'm a, I'm like a metal. I was a metalhead when I was little, so I listened to Metallica and Rob Zombie and shit like that. And when I fucking heard that, and I was like, "Wow!" I I just started hate banging because it was cool. And uh, all right, the, the, all right, I found mine. But you know, go ahead and keep talking. Sorry, I interrupted. Ass. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I was done. Um, um, it's not really. <clears throat> here's the thing. It's not a. I don't know how to explain it. It's not a movie, but it's a music video slash like slash short film that's six minutes long. Is that one that Blake's been sending around a lot? No, I don't think so. It's this one. <clears throat> yes, that's the one Blake's been sending around. Oh yeah, that was a really. It's a really good one. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's um. It's like a balance of EDM and anime all at the same time. I really do like it. Heck yeah. Now what's um quit rapping. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but uh what's okay, we got the movies down. What's like any anime you watch? Like um I know Back then, they don't do it now, which is stupid, but back then, they used to put in real music in with anime movies. Like, with Dragon Ball Z, it was like Drowning Pool, Disturbed, was on the movies, and you hear the fucking soundtracks, and it was like, hell yeah. Um, for me, it was like Drowning Pool and Disturbed, you know, let the bodies yeah. hit the floor and shit. For yeah. anime, and like every time I hear a song and I liked it, I would fucking research it and download it. Dude, yeah, like I, my favorite anime, like <laughs> the, these anime openings, like I don't know, really have anything to do with. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you know that does because like uh, you've seen Bleach, Memories of Nobody, yeah, right. I've got that entire soundtrack because like it's really good. Sorry, I was watching that music video. It's really good. Okay. But, like, um, there was that, and, of course, there's other video games that fucking, uh, like, the what we were just talking about, Gutlink Gear. They came out with a new one with um, a song called Heavy, uh, Heavy Day. I think that's what it's called. It's a band. And it, it was rocking. I liked it, you know. So I downloaded it. You, it you know, you can go ahead and say whatever you want about about it, but uh, <clears throat> I think one of the interesting soundtracks, and it doesn't have anything to do with anime, surprisingly. Um, whenever you hear it, is the thing is the theme entrance for uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, the video game, which I know it's a shitty game, but the beginning soundtrack, dear God. Oh yeah, I mean I've I've watched the first part of it. Um, I think like the Watamote intro, like that's a fucking rock song. Like that's awesome. And now we're back to anime. <laughs> we're back. To well, I mean, you said anime, video games, whatever else. I know, but it was just like it's just you know, I don't know. 
do you think? Um, oh, how about how about a movie? How about a movie? Yeah, we. God's not dead. God's not dead. He's surely alive. Please, <laughs> this is already too much. Like last week's. Yeah. That. Uh... We saw part two, by the way. It's actually a decent film. Is it? Yeah, part two is way better. Uh, it's still fucking preachy and bullshit, but uh, it at least no one dies. <laughs> Oh, no one, no one just... Oh, spoiler, thanks. I wasn't... Oh, you were gonna go see God's Not Dead too. I'm so sorry, I spoiled everyone. This is, this is worse than saying that Han Solo died. Oh, no. But he might still be alive. Oh, God. He's, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside, bro. <laughs> Damn it. But no, to be honest, I think he's still alive. I don't know. He kind of got. He kind of fell off into that thing, and then it kind of exploded. Well, the time, the time frame from when everybody was on there to everybody's on a fucking spaceship and it explodes is is too. So I mean, like, he, he could be alive, but he would be some fucked up like robot thing, like uh, Darth Maul. Yeah, I mean, look at Darth Maul. He fucking got caught, cut in half. Yeah, caught in half. Caught in half. He got caught in half, you know. He got caught in half. Um, but he became a robot. Look at fucking Vader, you know. I mean, he's like fucking 95% robot. You know. Anybody could fucking come back. It's Star Wars. Anybody can fucking come back. You know, not mentioning to the mini chlorians. But oh no oh <laughs> what uh, sorry I, I just continued watching that music video are you jerking it to the music video no, no it's just it's very sad quit watching sad shit but very eventful quit watching sad shit don't tell me how to live my life what the fuck fuck you <laughs> Why? Is, is, wow! Wow! You, okay. You bitch! You bitch! <laughs> you bitch! 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 Jimmy. <laughs> well, that was like a twenty-minute joke. <laughs> hey! 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 Shove this mic up your a hole. Yes, hole. I got a chick inside your ass, how? Oh, that sounds like a rapist. <laughs> no, it's that episode with the fucking toilet police. I want to lick the toilet safety TSA, the toilet safety administration. No, I haven't seen that one. <clears throat> oh my god, that was one of the best. The, the TSA, the toilet safety administration. And uh, there's one scene where uh, they have like fucking like like uh, like what is it seat belts and whatnot on the toilet. And there's one scene where fucking uh, Randy's sitting on the toilet and he's not he's not a seat belt on. And a cop <laughs> gets a fucking ladder and climbs up to the wind to his window and knocks on it. He's like, oh shit, shit. Then they try to buckle up, but then the cop ends up opening up the window. He's like, yeah, I saw you were buckled. He ends up giving him a ticket. Asshole. Jeez. What'd you say? Oh, sorry, I was talking to my asshole. Uh, let's get back to work, asshole. Jesus. <laughs> but uh, one topic uh, I do want to bring up is... I've said it before on the podcast, and you guys know that I am a voice actor now. Yeah! You are. Okay, uh, is ABO die? I don't know, ABO? Only inside. Okay. Wake me up inside! The uh, Evanescence. I wish they would come Can't back. Can't wake up. Call my name and save me from this nothing I've become. Did you just merge Evanescence of Linkin Park? Did I? I think you did. 
I don't know the I don't know all the lyrics to it. Okay, anyway though, continue. So anyway. You're a voice actor yeah. And uh to tell us about how you got that. I asked. <laughs> no literally <laughs> Round of applause, everyone standing ovation. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf, insert Shia LaBeouf meme here. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Have you guys seen that? Not to go off topic yes. or anything, but have you guys seen that? I think so. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, I did. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Dude, that, that, is, <laughs> that is the funniest shit. Especially at the Decapitate end. Decapitate actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> with, with His the... head topples to the floor. You have defeated Shia LaBeouf. Dude, I want my mic to sound Shia like LaBeouf. his. To where it's like old timey. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that kid, quiet, quiet. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> and then at the end, Shia LaBeouf stands up and... So it's fapping? Clapping, not fapping. All the same thing. Oh. Oh. Do we no. just moan at the same time? No. <laughs> no. Oh. I went, no, I said you ooh. I said you ooh. Two are now, <laughs> you two are forever connected. We are. Oh, baby yo. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, you were now you were you were you you were even worse than Blood Brothers. You were Moan Brothers. Moan Brothers. Oh God. Anyway, I'm gonna get back on topic since I got off a of topic. Um. And moaned. What was I talking uh. about again? What was I talking about again? Uh, the Eric Andre show. No. Damn it! I lost train of thought. Uh, Mel Solid, voice actor. Oh, voice act, yeah. So you know, I uh, asked if I could be because it says uh, ask if you want to join. So I was like, "Can I be a voice actor?" And they said, "Cause Ocelot and Eli, that's what we need." I suck at British. I don't do British. So I tried to do Cause and Ocelot. Ocelot was too much for me. I was trying to do. I mean, I tried to do like the normal Ocelot. But for some reason, it came out as a hick. So I, I had to re-record it. And then Kaz, I, he was just... I don't know, it was weird. But I did a soldier, because I'm like, could you put in the soldier if I'm not that good? And he's like, sure. So we did that, and he's like, uh, the other ones are okay. The soldier, on the other hand, is good. We'll put you in as that. So I've been promoting it. And the podcast, I've said it before, and I've tweeted it and all that. Um, it's actually sponsoring Kyle Hester and his Preacher 6 movie, and it's sponsoring uh, the Diamond Dogs Project. So Nice. Um, the, the Twitters and everything, information, Indiegogo campaign for the Preacher 6 is down below in the description. And uh, I advise you guys to check that out. Check Kyle Hester out, uh, Preacher 6. Um, from what he described, it's like a Quentin Tarantino film. Um, yeah. It's, you guys played Devil May Cry, right? Not the fucking remake, but the the original Devil May Cry. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's what it, I watched the teaser for it, and that's what it reminds me of. You know, it, it reminds yeah. me of uh, Devil May Cry. And it looks fucking badass. Um... There's that, and of course I'm sponsoring the Diamond Dogs Project because, you know, I'm a voice actor, I got to. And I'm pushing for, and to get it out there, if anybody wants to join the project, go down below, ask the Steve, um, which his Twitter's down below, if you guys want to join and try out for Kaz, Ocelot, and Eli. So, yeah, so we can get this project going. Motherfucker. Yeah. Motherfucker, what? <laughs> My phone was vibrating. Um, but anyway, that's... Um, 
I'm gonna allow this time for you guys if you guys want to put any like topics off your head in. Um, I'll go for uh, this topic here. Uh, you know, you, you might have heard the uh, the commercial in between. However, uh, let me uh, advertise for it again. Uh, there's a podcast that's going to be coming out. It's going to be a monthly podcast. It's called Animated Conversation. Uh, it's following uh, or it's hosted by me and Raving Reviewer. We're going to be talking about and anim- it's kind of like animation that month, kind of re- uh, summing up what happened, talking about the different things, different shows we've been watching that month. And yeah, it's going to be uh, on Fanboy Frenzy as well as Raving Reviewer's channel on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to go check it out. Make sure to go follow Fanboy Frenzy and go subscribe to, uh, to Raving Reviewer if you have not already. Alrighty. Amy, you got anything to add? Uh, mine is more of a story, if you don't mind it being the... <coughs> Sure. Go ahead, man. All right. So, so today, I go to my science class, and uh, man, I feel like hold on before I do anything. Uh, I feel like I'm going back to classic AVO right now. What do you mean? Stories. What is up, everyone? It's AVO. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So I walk into my class, and it, it smells fucking horrible. You know, like. It smells bad. Like, when I walked in there, dude, you could just, before you even got through the fucking doors, you know, even though there is no doors, but, like, before you even got up to the room, you could you could smell, like, fucking weed from, like, five oh, yeah. feet away from the area. Oh, shit. So, you know, we walk in there, and it just, like, po- overpowers you. Like, every student that walked in there ended up leaving smelling like it. It was that was how strong that smell was in there. Damn. And, yeah, and we basically walked in there, and it smelled like fucking somebody shoved a fucking joint up their asshole and farted in the class. God is what damn. it smelled like. And uh, we basically like just talked for the entire class period and they had the fucking officer over there and they're like yeah like you know teacher's like oh yeah i don't know what it is you know and then he's like yeah yeah and then like the police officer leaves and like one of the kids goes oh come on uh come on mister i'm gonna just call him mr dank mr dank uh you know one of the students goes uh come on mr dank you know you were lighting them up you know you were hitting it up (laughs) <laughs> that's diff one i'm like jesus christ jeez did he ever admit be... it no and then this is the funniest part the the student goes come on don't be a little bitch about it admit it <laughs> don't be a little bitch <laughs> i know and he's just like no i didn't do it i can't even smell right mm-hmm. he fucking was lighting up with the teacher and banging her <laughs> oh <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, he then he, uh, and then, you know, we continued on later, and then, like, somehow, conversation came up to where Mr. Dank was talking to another student, and this student is a girl, a different girl, and she goes, uh, oh, so you never, like, thought to look at a girl and go, oh, wow, now she got weight, now she gained, like, all this weight, you know, she looks kind of ugly now. He goes, no, I'm sorry, I don't think of underage girls inside of the school going oh wow she added six more pounds i don't think i like her but donk a donk but he said <laughs> donk a donk i looked i looked at him i go so so you're saying that you do that to 18 year old girls here at school and then he goes no and i'm like mm-hmm whatever and like in my head i'm like you are fucking bullshitting me i know this yeah. for a fact you are yeah i mean come on but, like, um, since you have a weed story, I have a weed story. Oh, shit. And it's funny, okay? <clears throat> well, I get a phone call, uh, like, Friday night. I get a phone call. Um, my mom goes, hey, your uncle's in jail. I'm like, uh, great, what now? It was because of child support. He's got a, a warrant out for his arrest. 
and he just got promoted. So, after that, um, they're like, you need the, you know, your grandma's going to get the money, you're going to send the money uh, through Walmart, and uh, I'll get it, and then I'll bail them out. I'm like, cool, all right, because she lives in Lafayette. It's like on the other fucking side of Indiana. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we go get the money from uh, my grandmother. And his friend brought the money to bail him out. So then uh, I picked up the money. And we get in the car. I noticed the money smelled like weed. Uh Uh-oh. I'm not saying smell. I'm saying fucking reeked. You can literally grab grab the money, fan it everywhere, and it, the whole car smells like weed. Oh, no. So, I'm looking at, you know, my wife going, how in the hell are we going to do this? They're going to know when they count it. And she goes, well, we're just going to have to do it. And I'm like, oh, shit. All right. So, here we go. I Of course, I'm like, you know, almost getting a contact buzz. Um, because it's so fucking strong. So I, I got it in my pocket or whatever, you know, and I go up to Walmart, go into Walmart, and, you know, we're doing this whole thing, and then we hand her the money. She starts fucking counting it, one bill at a fucking time. And I tell you what, the smell gets stronger and stronger <laughs> and stronger oh, in no. fucking Walmart. And I'm going, oh, dear God. Help me, because if they smell it, the woman had to smell it, dude. I mean, she was sitting there counting it. She had to fucking smell it. And then I hear, <laughs> it freaked me out, because I heard a woman say, code 50. I'm like, oh, no, we're going to get the cops called. And I'm just I'm just waiting. I'm like, fuck. I mean, I know I, got, I ain't got nothing on me. But... And then we walked out of Walmart laughing our asses off, because it, the whole Walmart just almost smells like weed now. Jesus. <laughs> it, it, it was like, it was like, holy shit at the same time. So then I, I get, I had a headache and then now I don't. And I told my wife, I think I had a contact buzz and they got rid of my headache from the money. <laughs> yeah. So that, that, that was my weed story. I never had a weed story, sadly. I've I've had oh some. I have I have one more if you don't mind yeah go ahead we got time all right <clears throat> so my friends he I'm not saying he's a dope head but he fucking does weed a lot so yeah he's a dope head <laughs> <laughs> but um you know I I don't do it like personally anything that you smoke should not be in your lungs that's just my personal opinion on it but uh. You know, I don't care if people do it around me, you know, but, um, people, you know, so like he, you know, he comes into school and like, he would get on the bus and I'm like, Hey man, what's up? He's like, dude, I just smoked. I'll be like, look at him and I'm like, okay, cool. And then we would get up to, uh, and then they would drive us to my school, which is the vocational school from my home school. And then we would sit down, and then, like, I'd look at him. I'm like, dude, are, are you okay? And then he just, like, would start eating, like, everyone's breakfast. Jesus. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. And then he would just look at us and be like, man, you don't even believe what happened. And then, like, he just drops his head down on the table and passes out. Oh, God. God damn. And then, like, right, it, here's the weirdest shit, right? We have this bell. It goes off like three times, and it warns you whenever, like, it's f- for you to go to your lab. Yeah. Fucking, it rings, and this guy looks like he's knocked the fuck out, and it rings, and he wakes the fuck up, like, immediately, straight the fuck up. Like, nothing happened, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Jeez. I'm like, and he does this, like, once in a while. I'm like, dude, like, do you need to, do you need a physician? Do you need a doctor? <laughs> Like, I'm concerned for you. He's just high as fuck, man. <laughs> I, I know. But, like, me, my opinion on it, it's to me, it's for uh, medical use only. 
because I was seeing videos of people having Parkinson's smoke it. And they, I mean, they always smoke a pinch, and then it's like they're normal. You know, it, it could do wonders for medical purposes. But, you know, everybody has their own, you know, oh, no, man, you need to legalize it. It's like, use it for medical research. Use it for medical shit. You know, don't sit there and, you know what I mean? But we're going to end this podcast with that on a good high note. On a high note. So I, I don't have any weed stories. I don't have weed stories. Whenever, whenever I first pop my fucking smoking cherry, I'll come on podcast and be like, guys, I just got fucking lit. Lit. And then we'll disown. And then we'll disown you like the little redhead child that you are. Be like, we'll be like, damn it, dude, no. <laughs> no, we talk about stories of it. We don't actually do it. Well, I mean, I don't. Uh, back Debatable. in the day, <laughs> back in the day, I have not touched any alcohol or weed in nine years. So, all right, cool, cool. Let's uh, Ooh. continue on. Oh, never mind. I also say something that I forgot. <laughs> yeah, no, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, this has been awesome uh, to have Zach ABO. Please go to the channels and subscribe with Spirited Video, uh, Wacko Zacko Reviews. And yeah. this podcast is actually sponsored by Fanboy Frenzy. So go to that. My podcast will be. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I, I, thought you meant, I thought you meant like the whole, you know, uh, voice acting thing. No. I thought you uh, Yeah, so you guys, oh, this, episode, this episode is brought to you by Fanboy Frenzy. Um, if you're listening to it on Fanboy Frenzy, yo, shout out to you. Um, guys, if you have not already, make sure, if you're on YouTube, listen to the Raven Podcast, make sure to go check out Fanboy Frenzy, because it'll be in the link in the description below. Um, and if you're on Fanboy Frenzy and you haven't followed, go ahead and give a follow. Yeah, because it's on two formats now, so for those of you people who don't like YouTube and like something else, you guys can go to that, so... Um, ow, I just hit myself in the microphone. So anyway, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more, and I will see you guys next time on another podcast. See ya.